Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of The Peace of New York. Today, we find ourselves in Red Hook, Brooklyn, on the same streets as Al Capone once grew up on. Now, today, we've come to Red Hook Lobster Pound. And though they were at the, though they were at the lobster joint, we're not here for the lobster today. We're actually here for the crab because it's their second annual crab fest. Now, if you're looking for a lobster episode in particular, you can find that episode right here. I mean, I'm the kind of guy that loves a number of different types of foods. Steak, meat, chicken, seafood. I'm excited today because I don't get to have crab that often. I really don't have crab that often specifically because it comes with a shellfish. And I always find that it's difficult and a lot of work to get your meat out of the shell. You know, I always ask myself, is the juice worth the squeeze? But here, let's go inside, check it out, see what they're all about. When it comes to a restaurant that's supposed to have a waterfront feel to it, they knocked it out of the park, right? They have the hardwood tables that they're serving food on. They have the ropes around the poles. They have lobsters on the wall. They also have the flags of, of Red Hook, Brooklyn. So definitely feels like you're in Brooklyn on the waterfront at a seafood restaurant. Now, the story of this place is both cute and unconventional. Ralph Gorm and Susan Povich, who are a husband and wife duo, actually started this restaurant in the kitchen of their Brooklyn apartment. And what I mean by that is they were sitting there and they were eating some lobster that they just gotten from their friends from Maine. And they were loving it, the lobster that they had, so much so that they even came up with the crazy idea, let's start a lobster restaurant. Now that wasn't out of the norm, especially because Susan had gone to culinary school and worked in restaurants all over the city. And Ralph was also a longshoreman and worked on the docks in his native town of, of Boston, Massachusetts. Boo Red Sox. But can't wait to uh, sink our teeth in some crab. And the reason that, the, that they, they're having Crab Week is they also love, love the uh, different type of shellfishes that come. This is the second annual crab fest that they have had. That's why we really went crabbed out. As a matter of fact, we got king crab, snow crab, crab cakes, crab dip when it comes to the savings. Because we are here for crab, for crab Fest Week, you can save as much as $15 to $30, depending on what you're ordering for the crab this week. I'm looking really forward to seeing what they have to offer here in, in Red Hook Lobster Pound. Maine is known for their blueberries, so we couldn't skip out on the blueberry float with blueberry soda, blueberry gelato. I bet this bad boy's gonna be very good. When I was a child, I loved root beer floats. This blueberry float over root beer floats all day, every day. It was almost like they took all the blueberries and condensed it into a delicious cup of sweetness, gold, as I was drinking that. And that was fantastic. That is actually an order of the director. I might have to order my own because so good. Either that or I'm going to just have all of it before she even gets a chance to have some. And also, the carbonation has a nice touch to this drink as well. Don't skip out on this when you come here. One of the beautiful things about Brooklyn is that they really make it community-based. If you come here, you'll notice that they also serve Steve's Authentic Key Lime Pies, which is in this neighborhood. And we actually did an episode that you can catch right here. Now let's get into this crab dip. Served with delicious chips. A nice solid scoop of this. Here we go. That is a rich, creamy, full body dip. Definitely captures the, the, t the flavor of the crab. No shortage of meat in there as, as well as when you're taking a bite into it. And I also like the texture of the uh, breadcrumbs on there as well. So, very satisfied with this first appetizer that we ordered. Don't want to be a hoarder but I might be having this all for myself. Next up, the crab cake slider. You do not want to forget the lemon. Cheers. I feel strange now because I just was hyping up the crab, uh, the crab dip, which was fantastic. This, I liked it even more. Why? This is served on a fresh toasted roll, which I already love bread, big carbs guy. So many flavors coming at you, right? You have the, the saltiness and the, the, the slight sweetness of the crab served on this delicious roll. And then also spiciness of the jalapeno that adds a, a hint of a kick to it. Not too spicy, but very peppery and delicious nonetheless. <laughs> Crab Fest, the size that you're going to get, comes with corn and a potato. 
But we didn't come here for the corn and the potato. We obviously came here for the crab. First up, the king crab. Steamed and boiled. As expected, one of the things I don't like about shellfish, there's a little bit of a battle to get this guy. It's quite the adventure. But here we are. Look at this thick piece of meat. Here we go. Mm. Got to dip it in the hot butter. Cheers. The meat was delicious, tender, had a hint of sweetness to it. The butter added a saltiness to the te to the to contrast the flavor as well. So when you come here, you're gonna have three different options of crabs. You're gonna have the king crab, the snow crab, and the dungeness crab. And the way that we like to compare it, it's almost like French fries, right? The king crab, that's gonna be those big giant potato wedges. The snow crab, that's gonna be more of the French fries, and then the dungeness, that's gonna be shoestring fries. This guy came with a big hunk of meat in it. I loved it. The sweetness of it was good. The saltiness of the warm butter also added that nice warmth to go around it. Almost like a like a coating of like to put it in New York City. When it's cold, we throw on the coats. It added a nice coat of warmness to add to the to add to the uh, the texture, the flavor, the temperature of the of the king crab. It's tremendous. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Next up, the snow crab. We got a nice hunk of meat. I know I just talked all about the uh, difference in in sizes of the meat, but we got his claw. So we got a nice hunk of meat right here at the end. Here we go. When you walk up here, you're going to notice outside that it says, World Famous Red Hook Lobster Pound. They might be famous for their lobster rolls. This king crab, the snow crab, both at the spot. I love both of them. This guy right here, the tenderness of the meat was top notch. On top of that, it was actually a little bit sweeter, sweeter compared to the king crab that I just had. And then that butter, I got the butter down to a science here. I know it's just simple, right? It's butter, but, but the combination of the sweetness of the crab, the the, the warmth of the butter, also the saltiness of it, and then the tenderness of the meat that they are steaming their crab, their their crabs here. Great job! Don't sleep on the crab when you come here. Well, folks, that concludes our day here on the Brooklyn waterfront. And the first thing that I said when I was done with my meal, that was awesome. The one thing that I don't like about these shellfish is that that was almost a two-hour lunch, strictly because I was working so hard to get the meat out of the out of the shell, but. From everything that we had, the dip, the sliders, the crab, loved it. Couldn't have asked for a better day here on in the Brooklyn waterfront. And for everyone over here at A Piece of New York, we just want to say thank you for the views. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you enjoyed the content, give us a subscribe. And we hope you have a great day and a better week. Take it easy, y'all. Bye-bye.